There are few cereals as well-known and beloved as Cheerios. Even if you're not big on breakfast, you've probably eaten at least one bowl of those circular oats. There are a plethora of flavors beyond the standard O's, and some stand apart. Here are 22 flavors from worst to best. As a concept, pumpkin spice is fine. A pumpkin spice latte is lovely, but at the height of the trend, it went too far. Once pumpkin spice Pringles became a thing, it was out of control. As you can imagine, pumpkin spice Cheerios are definitely a bottom-of-the-barrel product as well. The Cheerios website notes that this flavor is only available as a limited edition product. That means that you're much more likely to see it during the fall, when there is a greater demand for pumpkin spice flavored everything. But don't buy into the hype. This is the worst Cheerios flavor, and we don't want you to fall victim to this tasty looking trap. All you're going to get with this box of cereal is some oat rings with way too much nutmeg in them. The typical breakfast conundrum is whether to choose flavor over health value, or vice versa. If you choose the Very Berry Cheerios, you may think you're getting the best of both worlds, but that's not the case. Though the box says that the cereal is flavored with real fruit, it certainly doesn't taste that way. It has a distinct and intense taste that can be overwhelming. It also tastes like there's a lot of sugar in the cereal, so you probably don't want to eat it every day. When you think of berries, you probably think of a fruit that's more tart than sweet. That's definitely not what's coming across with this type of Cheerios. We love peaches, but when it comes to infusing that flavor into a cereal, it's not going to be good. This cereal did taste distinctly peachy, but not in a good way. It was almost like leaving a bag of peaches in the back of your car for a few days. When you come back, your car is going to smell unpleasantly of peaches. That's exactly the taste we got when digging into a bowl of the cereal. If the flavoring had been less strong here, we think that these could have had potential. While they are apparently made with real peach puree, the box also states that the cereal contains other natural flavors. Even if you love peaches, we have to tell you, this cereal isn't worth it. Just pass it by the next time you're in the grocery store. Reese's Puff Cereal is one of the best brands out there. Pretty much every kid from the 90s had a bowl of this stuff from time to time. If you love that flavor profile, you may assume that you're going to get more of the same from chocolate peanut butter Cheerios. But these don't even come close to Reese's Puffs in terms of quality and flavor. Instead of that rich, chocolatey taste, you're going to be left waiting for the chocolate flavor to arrive, overwhelmed by the peanut butter pieces. My chocolate is in my peanut butter. If you're used to the crunch from Reese's Puffs, these Cheerios just don't have the same texture. That may not be a problem with some of the other flavors, but this one is so close to another cereal entirely that we can't help to compare them. Cheerios definitely soak up the milk faster, so there's really just no crunch to be had. Here's another limited edition one. These banana nut Cheerios don't taste like a good loaf of banana bread, which is what we were hoping for. The ingredients do list real banana puree, but that's not really what these taste like. Instead, they taste very artificial. We're also left wondering where the nut comes in, as that flavor is completely imperceptible. The cinnamon spice mentioned on the company's website is there, but it's not a strong flavor. It's really difficult to make a good banana-flavored product that doesn't contain real whole pieces of banana. We can't think of a single banana-flavored product that's actually craveable. This cereal certainly isn't. Fruity Cheerios kind of taste like a mix between Fruity Pebbles and Tricks. So in a word, bad. You can taste the fruitiness, but like a lot of other Cheerios flavors, it's more artificial than anything else, despite the natural flavors. We don't know exactly what fruits these cereal pieces are supposed to emulate, but it doesn't translate well. Plus, it's really sweet. If you don't want to start off your day with a big bowl of sugar, we'd recommend skipping this variety of Cheerios. However, this one does come in above some of the other fruity flavors for one reason, and one reason alone, its looks. The little O's come in a variety of pastel colors that are enjoyable to look at, even if they don't taste particularly good. Great for crafts. We actually don't hate these chocolate Cheerios, but when you compare them to other chocolate cereals and other types of Cheerios, they just don't hit the spot. As we've mentioned, Cheerios don't hold up in milk as well as other cereals like Cocoa Puffs. That means all that chocolatey goodness just leaches into the milk, and it doesn't even produce that amazing chocolate milk-like flavor you loved as a kid. It just makes the cereal a mushy mess. What really makes us grimace when it comes to this cereal is how it's marketed. The company basically tries to pass it off as something healthy when really, you're just eating chocolate-infused carbs brimming with sugar. They may be made with whole grain oats and contain real cocoa, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily a healthy choice first thing in the morning. Multigrain Cheerios are about as boring as they come. They don't taste bad, but that's mainly because they don't really taste like anything at all. Not only are they beige, but they also taste beige. Your neutralness. It's a beige alert. If I don't survive, tell my wife hello. 
And while combining them with real strawberries seems like a good idea in theory, in reality, it's far from a successful cereal. The strawberries in this cereal have been freeze-dried and added to the mix in what seems like a bit of a mistake. They just don't have the juiciness you're looking for in real fruit. If you really want the good version of this cereal, just buy the normal multi-grain Cheerios and fresh strawberries. And do the dirty work yourself. It's not that difficult, and the taste is better in every way. For some reason, when chocolate Cheerios are paired with strawberry Cheerios, it makes them a bit better. The chocolate is still lackluster, and if you don't eat it right away, all those soggy pieces are going to make you want to throw the whole bowl down the garbage disposal. That hasn't changed. But when the chocolate is paired with strawberry-flavored Cheerios, they get a little boost. The rich cocoa taste has to compete with the sweet strawberry flavor. And the end result is something a little bit more exciting than the chocolate on its own. The health benefits aren't that significant, but if you're looking for a slightly healthier breakfast option that you can just pour milk over and be on your way, multigrain Cheerios may be right for you. You're still eating a bowl of sweetened carbs, to be sure, but the flavor isn't too bad, and they do boast 19 grams of whole grains per serving. It's definitely not the tastiest variety of Cheerios you can find, but it's generally a pleasant flavor. Most of all, it's inoffensive. No matter what kind of flavor you typically like, this cereal is probably going to go down easily. It's sure to be an old standard people will occasionally reach for, even if it's it's not likely to be anyone's favorite. If you're interested in trying something totally different, this blueberry flavor should be one of your go-tos. It's definitely a lot better than the other berry-flavored monstrosities that you'll find in the Cheerios line. The blueberry flavor, what there is of it, isn't very natural. But it's not an unpleasant flavor, either. Nothing so artificial you'll want to push the whole bowl away. The best part of this cereal? The color. The flavor might be slightly strange, but the color is really appealing. The blue O's make you want to dig into a bowl and find out how it really tastes. We don't think it's something that most people would want to get all the time, but it's worth a try. Cheerios Apple Cinnamon Flavor is a classic that many people love, and we admit that these Cheerios are one of the better-tasting flavors of the bunch. At the same time, we wish that the Apple Cinnamon flavoring here was just slightly different. It seems to be super heavy on the apple flavor and too light on the cinnamon. While the end result still tastes good, a few tweaks to the recipe would make this one a lot better. However, if you still love this flavor, there are some easy ways to make it taste even better. Adding cut-up apples to the cereal adds a different kind of crunch and a lot of freshness to your breakfast. And if you wish the cinnamon flavor were a bit stronger, you can add a dash of it after you pour your milk over your Cheerios. Between apple cinnamon Cheerios and the flavor that's just cinnamon, we have to take the latter. Sure, you're missing that apple flavoring, but that's actually a good thing. There's no artificial tasting fruit flavoring, and instead, you get to focus on the cinnamon. The cinnamon in the cereal definitely tastes stronger than you'll find in the apple cinnamon, perhaps because it's not competing with the apple flavor. Even though it's stronger, the cinnamon is not overwhelming. Since this cereal is made with real cinnamon, it has a natural taste that's simple and delicious. However, it's a bit basic, and we think there are better cinnamon cereals on the market, like Cinnamon Toast crunch, so it doesn't make it into our top picks, but if you're looking for something different from your Cheerios but still want that same old beloved shape, this flavor might be a contender. Before there was a wide variety of Cheerios flavors to choose from, there was just one option, the original Cheerios. And while this might be the most basic flavor of them all, we still think they've earned this relatively high spot on our list. First of all, you can't hate on a classic. The first time you ever had Cheerios, this is probably the kind you had. So there's a familiarity there that gives this cereal an appeal. It also has a subtle, if plain, flavor that you can't dislike. It may not be your top Cheerios flavor, but there's nothing wrong with starting your day with the original. That neutral cereal taste has just a touch of sweetness to it, so it doesn't feel like you're biting into cardboard. Plus, you can feel free to get creative with toppings. Who said you couldn't dress up your plain bowl of cereal with some fruit or chocolate. Want something completely different from your Cheerios eating experience? These maple Cheerios can deliver. This is an ideal breakfast if you're craving pancakes but don't have the time and energy to actually make them. We were surprised at how pronounced the maple flavor was in the cereal. The recipe contains real maple syrup, and the flavor definitely comes through. As you can expect from most Cheerios flavors, the taste isn't overwhelmingly strong, but we actually prefer things that way. After all, you can always add more maple syrup if you want a more intense flavor. While the maple flavor isn't overwhelming, this is one of the sweeter flavors of the bun. While we don't think it's too much, it may not be right for those who want something that isn't too sugary. Overall, this is an exciting flavor that you won't see from many other cereal brands, so we think all serious Cheerios fans should give it a try. One of the big appeals of Cheerios is simplicity. If you wanted something more complicated and sophisticated, then you would probably opt for a different cereal altogether. However, Cheerios may be trying to change that reputation with its oat crunch line. Instead of just getting those classic O's, these cereals have bits of oat in them as well. Basically, they feel like a mixture between oatmeal and traditional cold cereal. These oats offer a different texture and an extra crunch that you won't get with the regular stuff. And we're here for it. That's why we love the oat crunch cinnamon Cheerios. It's got that same cinnamon flavor you expect from the regular cinnamon 
cinnamon variety, but those oak clusters really take the cereal up a notch. They provide so much texture that you won't even mind that they're slightly light on the cinnamon. Here's another flavor from Cheerios that's slightly out of the ordinary. If you want something completely novel from the brand, this Honey Nut Cheerios Medley Crunch is the way to go. It's unlike any of the other options you'll see here, and it's actually really, really tasty, especially if you like cereals that tend to be more exciting than your standard Cheerios. You have to give it a try the next time you see it in the grocery store. This cereal starts out with your standard Cheerios, but then there's a twist. You'll also find crunchy clusters and crispy flakes in the mix. Since these cereals have a very different texture, you'll find that no bite is exactly the same. We love all these different varieties of crunchiness coming together to create something special. To top it all off, this cereal is Honey Nut flavored, which, well, you'll see. If you're looking for your traditional Cheerios, these are a no-go, but otherwise, they're an ideal way to start the morning. Here's another one of the Oat Crunch flavors, and we think it's even better than the cinnamon variety. Even though oats and honey sound simple, it's one of our absolute favorites. Again, you've got the nice combination of normal Cheerios and oats, which have just the right amount of texture difference between them. But what's really special about these is the flavor. The honey here adds just the right amount of sweetness, way better than the maple Cheerios. The honey is nice and light, so it's not going to be too overwhelming first thing in the morning. It also gives you that sweetness you know you love. This cereal really speaks to the value of simplicity when it comes to a good breakfast. Those who want a great everyday cereal should keep this stocked in their pantry for whenever they want to get their day off to a great start. If you've tried more than one or two Cheerios flavors, you've probably had frosted Cheerios at some point in your life. Back in the day, when kids ate a ton of sugary cereal first thing in the morning, this variety of Cheerios was popular because of its sweetness. While the original Cheerios do have a touch of sugar that adds some flavor to them, frosted Cheerios really took that sweetness to the next level. The result is a more pronounced sweetness than you're used to from the original flavor. While we're usually not huge fans of cereals that are overly sugary, we don't think that this one was too over the top. In fact, if you're looking for a sweeter cereal that isn't going to make you feel like your teeth are about to fall out, this is a great option that actually tastes really amazing. The kids are likely to enjoy this flavor too, even if they're picky eaters, but adults can likewise sneak a bowl. When you want your breakfast to taste like dessert, Frosted Cheerios are the way to go. Do you ever wake up in the morning and fantasize that you're waking up on a beautiful tropical beach surrounded by sun, sand, and sea? Everyone feels like that from time to time, but alas, for most of us, that's just not the reality. But that doesn't mean your breakfast can't make you think of a tropical paradise. That's where toasted coconut Cheerios come into play. You're unfortunately not going to find pieces of actual coconut in this cereal. The flavor is just inspired by toasted coconut. That said, this flavor is really incredible. If you love the taste of coconut, you're going to fall in love with this stuff. It's got that fresh but nutty flavor that will make you want to pour yourself another bowl once you finish with the first one. Cheerios probably aren't the first thing to come to mind when you think of cereals that deliver a satisfying crunch, but that's probably because you're not thinking of Oat Crunch Almond Cheerios. This flavor really is one of the best of the bunch, and that's because it actually contains livers of almonds. You'll get a boost of protein you need to get through your day feeling your best, so it's a no-brainer to choose this option. The taste is great, too. Since you get the crunch from the Cheerios themselves, the oats, and the almonds, you'll find that this is one of the most satisfying flavors of Cheerios around. If you truly want to start your day off right, this is probably the best kind of Cheerios to try. All those almonds are going to help you stay full longer than a normal bowl of cereal would, and it tastes better to boot. The magnum opus of the Cheerios line is none other than Honey Nut Cheerios. Honestly, these are probably more well-known and popular than the original Cheerios. And there is a good reason for that. They taste incredible. Even if you don't like cereal, you probably won't be able to stop yourself at just one bowl of this stuff. It's that good. The honey flavoring adds a lovely touch of sweetness that will keep you going back for more. But it's much lighter than most other sweet cereals out there. There's nothing super wild or innovative about this cereal. Instead, it all comes down to simplicity and flavor. The honey flavoring here is somehow even better than what you'll find in the Medley Crunch version. And you know that when you stock this stuff in the pantry, pretty much every member of the family is going to want some. There's a reason this flavor is a classic, and it will forever be our favorite Cheerios flavor. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite breakfast foods are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!